when we put the batteries in that it is flashing. This is for the year. You're going to want to change the year. And we're in 2016. And then you're going to hit the set button. And then the month. Um, right now we are in May. And then today's date is the 20th. And then now you can do the time. And right now it is 10.50. Now you can do this in military time or you can do it in 12 hour time. We're going to do 12. And right now it is 10.50 a.m. Okay, so now our day and time is set. You'll have an option to change your measurement unit, and we're going to keep that as our measurement unit. And then once it's set, your settings will flash in front of you everything that you set. That way you can make sure it's all correct, and your unit will shut itself off. Now the unit is ready to use. Now it is time to use our cuff. To position it, make sure that it is not directly on your wrist joint. Okay, so this is the incorrect way to wear it. Okay, so this is where we want it. We want to be able to make our, our wrist fully functioning and move. All right, and then you're going to have your elbow slightly bent to where the monitor is level with your heart so you don't want to over bend your elbow or anything like that just a slight bend And as you see, it is quick and easy. And that is my reading. All you have to do is hit the power button and it starts immediately. So do not hit the power button until you are ready. And I am normal. I am going to begin a second reading. That way you can see how to pull up memory and previous readings. So let's start a new one. Okay, so you turn your unit off, and then once the unit is off, we can check memory settings to see our previous readings. Select memory while the unit is off, and you will see that the date and time of this reading was 5.20, which is today's date at 11.01 a.m., and then we have one 5.20 at 11 a.m., So reading one, reading two, and you can see the numbers. And there we go.